Tier 1 Awareness Emergence of Genetic Memory Manifested as a Product of Environmental Stimuli Epigenetics So we left off right at the point where the precursors of memory as a product of emergence within the universe are beginning to emerge with the Tier 1 life forms. I classify Tier 1 Awareness as extremely primitive, but yet still complex biological expressions. Microorganisms, viruses, plants are classified as Tier 1 life forms. Although I hesitate to categorize these life forms as awareness or consciousness. I suppose in a really simple way, because the genetic code is basically memory and the expression is a response to stimuli, which is a reaction and we'd be reaching, but it could be an example of consciousness. At any rate, like I said, I hesitate. I know that some of you plant lovers out there want to say that plants feel and communicate, but that's not very likely. Plants are certainly complex biological life forms and have a certain vibratory frequency state. Plants have the ability to communicate in a sense, but it's not a product of consciousness necessarily. Plants do not have brains. All of tier one life forms I categorize as reactionary. The memory is through genetics, and those genetics are a product of natural selection as well as epigenetic responses to environmental stimuli, which changes the future phenotype expression of that form of biology. This is actually all sort of beside the point, but I understand people's tendency to nitpick when statements don't line up with their belief systems, so I'm trying to get out ahead of your arguments. Remember, this video series is for the purpose of understanding the origins and function of our consciousness as well as how it affects our behavioral expressions. This is not as much to do with communications, although in the future I may make videos that address that subject also. Okay, so my categorizations keep these life forms at a low tier because they do not process cause and effect, they do not create mental maps, and their manipulations of energy are more of a process of transmutation, and I would not actually classify it as manipulating matter and energy. Photosynthesis, for example, is not a conscious action, but yet the plant is affecting the state of matter and energy. So you may be wondering why I'm even talking about microorganisms, viruses, and plants in relation to human consciousness. Well, we are genetically related to those forms of life that I've listed. We are 22% genetically related to the grass in your lawns. We are 44% related to bananas. Do you see any similarities between human forms and bananas? <sighs> Interesting side note, we are more closely related genetically to fungi than plants. I think it also is around 40-something percent. Anyway, most of the cells in our bodies contain mitochondria, which are genetically very closely related to bacteria. The mitochondria are basically the engines for the cells that they are inside. At a cellular level, we are in symbiosis with a bacteria, pretty much. We are a mass of microbiological symbiosis. Before complex biological life forms existed, matter and energy on the planet was being used in the life cycles of many different microorganisms. The matter in our bodies spent time as tier one life forms. A lot of time. Really, it still is. Everything we've accomplished is thanks to the symbiosis between our microscopic brethren. So without the processes of epigenetics and environmental stimuli as well as the emergent properties of the universe that we covered in the previous video, our level of consciousness would not be possible. Additionally, all the plant life is doing a lot of work of which we take advantage of in order to save calories that we put towards other uses. Not only do plants filter our air, produce oxygen we breathe, and recycle the nutrients from our dead bodies, they harness the power of the star's charged particles. All of the matter and energy that makes up our current consciousness was once doing that job, and it will go back to doing that job at some point in the future. By examining all of these simple forms of biology, in a way we are able to translate the cause and effect memory of the universe in relation to the process of emergence. Again, every form that we observe is a structural memory of the universe. We are starting to nip at answers to the ultimate questions, and I have a playlist reserved for those ideas, so I'm going to try to get back on point here. But the last little bit of nibbling in regards to what is life and the ultimate questions, we can look at plants as a sort of digestive system of the life of Earth, which we are part of. As I often remind people, individualism is an oversimplification of our state of existence. Reality is not simple. It is naive to attempt to make it so. So everything that we can classify as a tier one life form is doing an important job. If we had to do those jobs, we would spend all of our calories and we would not be able to spend those calories being conscious. 
Think about it. If you had to spend all of your time working in the garden to grow your food, then you wouldn't have any time to go to school. So we are not standing on the shoulders of giants, but rather standing on the shoulders of primitive phenotype expressions of microbiology, our more simple forms of life. So to recap, tier one life has no actual awareness, but without it, we do not get to participate in consciousness at the level we do currently. Tier one life forms have genetic memory, Sometimes it's an extremely complex genetic memory that has a vast record of environmental stimuli from the past, but the life form is just reactionary. Tier 1 life forms do not process cause and effect, and they do not manifest intention into reality. Tier 1 life forms do not have a brain, and therefore do not process complex sensory information. Tier 1 life forms do not make mental maps of their environment. I hope all this has been concise. Feel free to ask questions and comment. Thanks again so much for joining and making an effort to expand consciousness. Please remember to subscribe, thumb up, and share. Next up, Tier 2 and 3 Awareness, Symbiotic Masses of Microbiological Consciousness. See you in the next video.